having karma for you is gonna be who you end up with. Don't make me sick, nigga. I adore. I gave you everything was mine is yours. I want you to live your life, of course. But I hope you get what you dying for. Hey y'all, it's yo girl and welcome back to my world. Oh my hair is sticking out. Give me one second, guys. Yeah, y'all, so I'll be talking about the time I got ghosted. So, my, bear with me, y'all. I might get emotional. So, I was about 20 years old. This is before I met my husband. And I remember I told you guys that, like, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me. So I really wasn't into like dating anybody. So I was like really cold hearted, like really hurt. I didn't want to talk to anybody or anything like that. So I was on this website called Vibe. I guess Vibe was kind of like my space. He had a profile, you could like people's comments and post pictures. There was a wall, then there was like chat rooms, whatever, whatever. So I was on there and like chilling or whatever. I think I was updating or like going through people that like commented on my wall. And I get a message from this guy named GQ. So I checked the message. He said, Hey, what's good, beautiful? Or, Hey, beautiful. Something like that. So, like, immediately, like, I remember I told you guys I was cold hearted. So I instantly, I, like, turned him down, like, Oh, don't call me beautiful, blah, blah, blah. I don't even remember what I said. That was hella rude. But then, like, after that, like, he's like, The next guy that messes you, try not to be so cold because they might actually, you know, be here for the right reason. And you told me to have a good day. Yo, guys, I instantly felt so bad. Like, I felt so, so bad. So, I, like, that wore me down. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me not be so mean. Like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And we were, like, talking for so long. I think we were talking for, like, months. Months from months. And, like, he was really, really sweet. He really took the time to, like, get to know me. Honestly, I feel like if it wasn't for him, like, I would not even be given my husband a chance. Because, like, he took the time to, like, get to know me, talk to me, mend my heart, listen to everything that I had to say. He was a really good friend. Although he wasn't a boyfriend, he was the closest thing to it. Like, honestly, like, I talked to him. We would stay up all night, all day messaging each other. Like, he was just, like, really special. And, honestly, we had a bond like nobody else. And it's, like, really weird because it's just, like, how could somebody I have met so randomly and, like, in such a small amount of time make such a huge impact on my life so like we like really got to know each other and we were like literally like best friends always flirting i was on his facebook he had my face always commenting on each other's walls like i said we were always together like on facebook court vibe we wasn't really on instagram or twitter back then this is like 2012 I'll even put messages. We were like always messaging each other, like sun up to sun down. And I was always like telling my friends about him and be like, oh, how's grumpy? Like they would always tease me about him. And guys, like, I don't know what it is, but this guy's like, after so long, like this is back in 2012, so that was like seven years ago, I cannot forget about him. So I remember we were talking for months, and then on Vibe, I noticed that his page was shut down. 
as I said, be back soon. Knocked. So if you're from Toronto, you know that knocked means you got arrested. I literally felt like my heart broke, like I lost my best friend. So call me crazy, but I got numbers from all the correctional centers that I know of in Ontario, and I started calling all of them. Hey, do you have Grumpy? Do you have Grumpy? Do you have Grumpy? Obviously, I used his real name. I'm not going to expose him like that. And until I got someone that actually said yes, they confirmed his birthday. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I circled that correctional center and I started writing him letters. So I write him like motivational letters to him. They know that he was there for me. I was just going to leave him like that. Like I was just going to be there for him. And like, so I was trying to like do what he did to me. Like he actually saved me. So I was trying to like be there for him the way he was there for me. And I sent him letters after letters, months after months. Until eventually my letters started getting returned back to me. And I'm like, what is going on? So immediately as I got his letter returned to me, I um, I messaged his Facebook and I said, hey, my letters that I'm sending to you are getting returned back to me. Are you out? And like I was sending like numerous messages. I can see that they're being read but they're not being responded to. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? Like, you're reading my messages, you're not saying anything. Like, what's up? So eventually, I'm like, you know what? I had enough of this. I just sent him, like, a goodbye message. I'm like, you know what? Thanks for being here for me. Clearly, I can see that, you know, what I want is not what you want. I'm tired of playing games. Like, cool, if you don't want to talk to me, that's why you get upset. You know what I mean? Like... You didn't have to leave me like like this, like read my messages so I didn't say anything to me. At least let me know that you're okay. That was the message that he actually answered. And he's like, you know what, Munchkin, because he always called me Munchkin because I was so short. He's like, you know what, Munchkin, I'm really sorry. It was nothing like that. I, you know, I was just trying not to be like out there in the limelight anymore, you know, like... He wasn't trying to, like, get his feelings in there. He's trying to get back to where he was before, before he got knocked. And he felt like he didn't want any interruptions or anything like that. So I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, it's cool. I don't even remember what I said, but I was so mean. Because I'm like, dude, I was there for you for so long. And you didn't even, like, attempt to, like, say thanks. Or at least write me back or say, hey, I got your letters, but give me a minute. Like, you didn't say anything to me. So, I'm like, that's a huge slap in the face. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. You're clearly you're dissing me. Bye, dude. And he's like, no, 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 it's nothing like that. You know what? You're making me feel like a jerk. You'd have to do me like that, blah, blah, blah. And, like, he's like, okay, you know what? He knew where I lived because he used to live in the same area like a long time before like a long time ago when we were children yet i never met him which is so weird how do we live in the same like neighborhood and we've never met that part had me like it blew my mind so he's like you know what let me you know take you out on this day and i'm like okay and i would message him and be like hey like what's going on and he didn't, like, nothing, like, nothing happened. Like, he, he didn't message me. Like, he didn't answer me. So, he's like, okay, sorry, I forgot. Or something, he had something to do. Or, like, he had his daughter. Or, like, he had a kid. So, I understood that part. Or it would be another excuse, like, he broke his hand. Or he didn't have time. Or his car broke down. It was always an excuse. So, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm getting tired of this. And we stop talking like he ghosted me again so i continued to add like message him like before just in case something happened and he didn't message me back months 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 became a year two years i moved on with my life clearly 
and I messaged him, but I'm like, you know what, I still cannot forget this guy. So I messaged him, and I sent a link as to where I sent the story to Catfish. Yo, when I tell you that after I sent that, it's like he ghosted, like his page was get closed down, like he closed down his page, he had two pages, one that was just for me and him, and one that was like his real page where he had like all his friends and stuff, and he closed both of them down, so I'm like, bro, like, what? So it's now like, I don't even know how to get old if I'm like, dude, like for real, and then I tried to message Ghosted, you know that new show that's kind of like Catfish, hopefully they get back to me because like I really want to find them, all I want to know is why, like what did I do, did I do something bad, like what's going on, like I just want to know like what happened, like what did I do wrong, anyways y'all, I want to thank y'all for like listening to my story. If you've gone through anything like this, please let me know. If you know anybody that's gone through it, tell them to message me on my links, Instagram or Twitter. Let me know, like DM me so I, like, we can relate. Comment down below your Instagram names, your Twitter names. Just so we can follow each other, you know, really get there, get to know each other. And guys, if you can really send this to me from Catfish or send this to Travis and Rachel from Ghosted and TV, I would greatly appreciate it because I'm really trying to find this guy. I want closure. I want to know what the heck happened. Justin, if you're watching this, please message me on Twitter or Instagram. Let me know what it was that went wrong, what happened, like, I just want closure, you can move on with your life, I'm already married, so it's not like, you know, anything could come between us, or happen between us, but I just want to know what exactly what it was that happened, and, yeah, I thank you guys for watching my video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications, so you'll be notified every single time I post, Thank y'all for watching again. I love y'all. I'm out. It's your girl and I'm signing out of my world. Peace, love, and all of the above. Bye, guys. Do you know what you're doing? Whose feelings that you're hurting and bruising?